so in exactly the same way through certain kinds of human contact, contact, contact with people who have the gift of therapy. The the you can absorb, absorb, absorb their wisdom, wisdom like you absorb the virtues and the vitamins. And as I said, I sing to them with a peculiar passion. You know, I remember once I was undergoing an LSD experience and the psychiatrist, the psychiatrist attended this. He wasn't a bad fellow at all. I mean, he was a very imaginative man, but he said, he said uh, what a five and seven. What a nine, what a nine and three, you know? But I still negotiate these mathematical trivialities. And these are tests of sanity. You never see a positive drug story on the news, do you? No. Always negative. News is supposed to be objective, isn't it? It's supposed to be the news, but every drug story is negative. Well, hold it. I've had some killer times on drugs. I'm not promoting it, but I'm not denying it. Let's hear the whole story. Same LSD story every time. Young man on acid, thought he could fly, jumped out of a building. What a tragedy. What a dick. Don't go blaming acid on this guy. He thought he could fly. Why didn't he take off from the ground first to check it out? He's an idiot. He's, an He's idiot. dead. Good. I mean, there's one less doorknob in the world. Woo! What a tragedy. Why so down, Bill? We're missing a moron. <laughs> We're missing a moron. I'd like to see a positive LSD story. Would that be news for you? Just once? Hear what it's all about? Today, a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration. That we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There's no such thing as death. Life is only a dream and we're the imagination of ourselves. Here's Tom with the weather. Whoa, did you see the news? No, it's not gonna, it's not a war on drugs. It's a war on personal freedom is what it is, okay? Keep that in mind at all times, thank you. It's a war on personal freedom is what it is, okay? Keep that in mind. 